Hey guys, it's Jacob from St. Bonaventure, and today we're talking about how do I talk to God? First of all, God wants to be close to you. He wants to be like your best friend. And that might be a weird concept because maybe you've only ever viewed God as like this person in the sky who's sort of just like looking out for you and making sure your life is on the right track. But like it's more than just that. God is like right here. He wants to be that person that you talk to about everything. The one that you open up to, the one that you trust with your secrets and with your insecurities, with your hopes and your dreams. Like God wants to be that person for you. And the church teaches us that when we let God be that person for us, when we just talk to God about everything, he brings new life into our hearts. St. Paul says, pray without ceasing, pray without stopping. Is he just exaggerating? That there is a hyperbole. No, dude, he's not exaggerating. Praying without ceasing is possible. What does that mean? That you just talk to God kind of all day. Like I'm here in this beautiful garden at St. Bonaventure. Every time I walk through here, dude, I'm just talking to God like, God, these flowers are so beautiful. Like these trees are so awesome. I love this bench. This bench is like my favorite bench of the whole park. I'm like, God, I'm super happy this bench is here. You could talk to God about super random stuff and he's not gonna get bored. Like, oh, this one's bothering me again with their incessant comments about Pokemon Go, but I don't really care. God does care. God cares. Like, if you're into Pokemon, God wants to hear about it. If you're into mountain biking, God wants to hear about it. If you're into Kung Fu or or Muay Thai or whatever you like, like God wants to hear about that stuff. Why? There's billions of people on this planet. Why does God care about what I'm into? It's because he's your dad and you're his kid. And this dad always has time for his kids. He's always got time for you. He's always listening. And in fact, he's got nothing better to do than to be with you and just hang out. St. Teresa of Avila, she said, contemplative prayer, in my opinion, is nothing other than the close sharing between friends. It means taking time frequently to be alone with him who we know loves us. Dude, it's just about sharing your life with somebody. It's about sharing your heart. That's what prayer is. You just talk to him. It's nothing crazy. But let me tell you this, the results are crazy. Because when you talk to God every day, when you talk to him all day without stopping, when you just make God your best friend and you dish, spill the tea, do it every day, bro, you get to know God better. And that's the best thing in the world, to know God and to know him deeply. The more you talk to God, the closer to him you get. So make it a habit. Make it your every day. Make it your every breath. Talk to God. Tell him about everything. He wants to hear it.